today on William's Adventures, I'm going to um, show you the progress I've made on the uh, Dragonbone Greatsword. And it's not very much, and I'll show you what's going on because I have to actually uh, buy some more wood. And I'll show you the reason why. But let me show you to flip the camera around and show you what I got going on. Alright, so as you can see, I have a lot of projects going on right now. But... Essentially, what I got going on here is the metal banding that runs down the middle of the sword. I cut out of the out of the sheets of plastic I have, as you can see here, and so it gives it that metal look. Now I sanded the finish off here and just laid it in here, and then for up here, you can see this piece here. Is an attachment that goes here because I was actually looking at it and I noticed this piece here so I had to recreate this part but as you can see here there's a gap under there so I need to buy some more wood to add another layer on each side for the handle and to make the rings round because they're actually round rings and these are, well, not round, obviously. And what we got going on here is these pieces here are right here, as you can see there. And I was looking at them, and I originally had another part laid out, but it didn't work because it comes up, let me turn this sideways, it's actually tapered from this point to here because it comes up on the edge and then drops down and then flares a little bit right up here. So I'm gluing these pieces up so that I can then sand one edge down and that'll give me that angled look. And then I can flare it up a little bit at the end. Which is right up in here. And of course I have to take and obviously glue this down and put the nails in here. Like there should be. Because I think there's one right here. But I have the pattern for that. I'm going to pause the camera, pull up my computer, so I can actually show you what I'm talking about. Alright, so here's the image I pulled up on my computer. I'm going to zoom in right here. And as you can see, let me pull up, grab this piece here. So what I did was made this under layer here all one piece. But as you can see here, the piece I'm talking about is right here that I have glued up. And there's this lip right here that I want to get. And so looking at this being how thick this is here compared to how thick it is here. See how there's that little shine right here? This tells me this flares out just a little bit. So, I have to make this thicker and then sand it down because it obviously tapers from here to here. As you can tell by this edge right here. But that's the current progress. And then this comes out on the handle, as you can see here. And obviously the rings here are round. So I have to do that. And then uh, sand this piece here round, rather than the flat washer that I have. So I have to sand these round. 
but that is the progress I've made and I'm still trying to figure out how I'm going to do this these little scroll works but the piece that I have laying on the sword is this piece right here and as you can see there's the pins in it right here and up here and one over here so I'm going to have to take in I have an idea for those but I'm gonna to have to make those too and then obviously the pins right in here I'm gonna to have to make and I think I know I have an idea on how to make those two and this little one right there but to me, this looks like a wrapped leather handle that has stitching on the edge. But that's currently the progress I got going on. As you can see over here, as I flip this around. And obviously, I want to take and, you know, add little dent marks, like hammer marks and stuff like that. But I will do that at a later point. I just wanted to show you the current progress I got. Because this piece here is really cool. And it is butted up against here. As you can see there. It's a very nice joint. And then this piece here actually covers it up like that so you'll never be able to tell that it's just butted up against it i have to glue it and obviously drill a hole put the pin in and stuff like that but that's my current dragon bone greatsword progress All right, well, thank you for joining me today on William's Adventures, and let's go on an adventure and create something new. All right, I want to give you a quick update on the Skyrim Dragonbone Greatsword. So, while I was out sanding all the stuff for my Mandalorian armor, I decided I might as well sand this. So, as you can tell here, of putting an edge on this thing. I gotta go through and detail these up a little bit more and uh, apply some putty to it, but certain areas. But I did smooth out all the rough edges and put an edge on both sides. I also sanded the ring here so it's more rounded. I'm liking the way the way this is. I'm liking the flatness of it, not the perfect like almost cylinder that it should be or ring it should be. So I'm liking this better I and mean, it's kind of rough sh rough so it looks almost hammered in shape but it's the current you know I got to take like a file in here and get these all straightened up but I wanted to get some edge detail in here before I did anything else We definitely got a lot of work more to do on it, but as you can see here, like this is a um, purple primer for the PVC, but it's all sanded up and nice and smooth. I just got to go through and do some detail stuff like right here. But that's a what I got going on for this. Alright. Well, there's a quick update.